Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA and CSENT practice exam question for you here. Which is greater? And I'll show you which of the witches we're talking about in just a moment. You might want to grab something to write with because we're going to do a little bit of math and a little bit of hex and binary review here as well. So let's go ahead and dive into today's question. Put these in order, highest to lowest, according to their decimal value. We have A3 in hex, 174 already converted to decimal for us, and then 11001111 in a binary string. So I'm going to go straight to the hex uh, definition or hex explanation from here. So if you want to take a minute or two to come up with your answer, you need to pause the video. Let's talk about those hex values for a minute and where those letters come in because that intimidates people when they get started with hex. But there's nothing really to get intimidated about. This is just a way to express a two-digit number uh, with a single character. And with it's just A through F. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, D equals 13, E equals 14, F equals 15, and that's really all there is to it. So the question was A3. The other thing we have to remember with hex is that we're talking about base 16 here. Now when you and I look at the decimal 174, we don't really think anything about it. It's just decimal 174. If we had 211 pennies in a jar, we wouldn't sit there and to say, well, to express that, I need to come up with a decimal that's two units of 100, one unit of 10, and one unit of one. You just do it because we're used to using decimals. We just don't use hex in everyday life, or at least I don't. So we've got A3 base 16, which means working from right to left, we have three units of one, and then A units of 16. So what did we say A was equivalent to? A equals 10, so that means we have 10 units of 16 and three units of one when you're looking at the hex value A3. So right there you've got the decimal 163, and by the way, case does not matter with hex. It could be an uppercase A, a lowercase A, it means the exact same thing. So that gives us our value in decimal for that hex character, 163, and we know 174 decimal is obviously higher. What does that binary string equal? Well, the binary string 11001111 has the following bits set to 1. 128, 64, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Because the two that are set to 0 there are the 32 and 16. You add those up and you have 207 and you've got your answer because the highest value would be the binary because the binary string converts to 207, then the decimal at 174, and then the hex value comes in at 163. And in about three minutes, that's all there is to it. I will definitely have another practice exam question for you tomorrow. And I hope you'll go out to Udemy and check out my CCNA video boot camp. I've got some great free material out there for you as well. But right now you can still get in for 44 bucks and almost 10,000 students have taken advantage of that. So I hope to see you out there. I'm Chris Bryant and I'll definitely see you tomorrow with another free CCNA and CSENT practice exam question.